Number 12 on the general curriculum uh, practice test, math test. The prime factorization of a natural number n can be written as n equals p r squared, where p and r are distinct prime numbers. How many factors does n have, including 1 in itself? Number 12 is a very interesting problem. It comes off as being very simple. At the same time, it's filled with all these math terms, like prime factorization, natural number. It has this phrase, uh, well, it talks about prime numbers, but it also says distinct prime numbers. And then it also talks about factors. This can be a, a real tricky problem to break down if you don't know the vocabulary. First, let's think about this first word, prime factorization. And let's take the number 12. The prime factorization in number 12 would be 4 times 2. Since 2 is prime, I'm going to leave it there. And then I would do, oh, sorry, let me fix that. 4 times 3. 3 is prime, so I keep it 3. And then 2 times 2. Here I've pulled out all the primes that are in the number 12 so that if I were to go 2 times 2 times 3, I would get 12. I could write the prime factorization of 12 as 12 equals 3 to the first times 2 to the second. So this is 12 in prime factorization form. Now a natural number is just another way of saying a positive integer greater than 1. And integers, uh, we're thinking about integers as um, whole numbers, and a positive integer is basically our counting numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 11. So if we take a step back now, and uh, we read this again, the prime factorization of a natural number n can be written as n equals pr squared. Whatever this natural number is, it can be written as a p times an r squared. And it says p and r are distinct prime numbers. Well, I know what my primes are. That's like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and so on. Primes are any number that only has 1 in itself as a factor. Like 2, the only even prime, has only two factors, 1 and 2. 3 has only 1 and 3, and so on. Well, I'm thinking P and R are distinct prime numbers. What's a distinct prime? Well, if someone said you had really distinct shoes, basically what they're saying is they're different shoes. And so distinct primes just means two different types of prime numbers. So if my natural number is made up of two different prime numbers, theoretically I can choose any prime numbers I want. So I'm going to choose a 3 for the first distinct prime and a 2 for the second. Okay, so if it's 3 times 2 to the second, I mean that fits the rule. P is a prime and it's 3, and R is prime and it's 2, and they're two different distinct primes, then it would get me a natural number of 12. Okay, and then I could just ask myself this question. How many factors does 12 have, including 1 in itself? Well, well, that's 12 has 1 and 12, 1 in itself, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Now, I know what you're saying. Okay, Chris, you just happened to pick 2 and 3. You got 12, and that just happens to have six factors. But what if we were to do this for other numbers? Let's say we were to choose, um, I don't know, let's say we were to choose 5 and, uh, and 2. Those are two distinct prime numbers. Well, if I did that, I'd get uh, 4 times 5 is 20. And if I did the prime factorization of 20, I get 1 and 20, 2 and 10, 4 and 5. Again, six factors. There's a couple tricks here. I don't want to get. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, necessarily go into the tricks. It does involve exponents, 
when you write the prime factorization of the number, you can go to the exponents and add one to each one of the exponents and you get two and three. You multiply the exponents and you get six. And basically that means that whatever this natural, num this number, when written in prime factorization form and when I add one to each of the exponents and then multiply the exponents out, tells me how many factors, this six tells me how many factors are in that number. That's for another day. I think the important idea though is to, the carry away on this problem really is to be not to panic when you see something like this, but just to say, you know, I'm dealing with a prime num uh, natural number, which is any counting number greater than one, um, or, um, or any counting number that's uh, one or greater, that's positive. And then I'm just dealing with two distinct prime numbers. You just follow it out, pick two values, come up with a, a, a number, natural number, do the factoring of that natural number, come up with an answer that works. Thank you everyone, this is Chris from MTIL Test Prep, hope this was helpful, have a great day.